Welcome back. Well, we're in April. Time to sell out. I was going to say furniture, but I meant to say time to sell our um, clothing. Now, one thing that I've noticed is that the clothing supplier or manufacturer that I've uh, placed in our last episode seems to be a little bit better at producing clothing than the ones that I already have. Now, where was the best price? So the store, but it's still going up. That's okay. It's not a problem. We'll deal with it. I don't know if I could sell it this way. We'll find out if I, oh well, yeah, I can. Boom. That's the beauty of clothing. It's, it's just, yeah, I think it speaks for itself. I don't need to say anything more. Now, I could have waited and got, I don't know, maybe probably a couple of thousand dollars more out of it. But I thought, you know what? Let's just sell it. Let's just get it over and done with. Now, in one month, it produced, what, three, Nine. Oh, it's not going to reach that one, is it? Yep. Nine pallets. So this is going to be good. If this is how this one's going to be, I might consider buying another one of those and getting rid of those two. Since those two are producing almost nothing compared to this one. Now, I've got one or two, pa one pallet over there. I'm just gonna go and grab it by hand. Well, now let me have a look. So clothing was the best in April. Where's furniture? Is it, the furniture's down, right? Isn't it? Furniture. It is also best price in June. I was going to say in and then June. <laughs> um, uh, so clothing, fabric, and clothing. April. Okay, so we'll just sell this and uh, we'll wait till June for the rest. So we got what, another almost 250,000 here. So we'll break a million dollars uh, out of this production. I haven't looked at my paper. I haven't looked at any of that sort of stuff. So I haven't got a clue. On, uh, uh, on when I need to sell that. Now, as you can see, I've got the time at 0.5 and there, there is a reason for that. And my reason is that I'm still plowing that field and I don't want it to get to a point where I got $13,000 for environmental score. I mean, that alone, is, there's a reason to um, do precision farming. The fact that every time you sell something, you get a bonus. Like, even when you're cutting down trees, you're getting, you get a bonus. Eh, it doesn't work like that in real life. But anyway, I'm not going to complain if they give you extra money, but you're not going to get a bonus in real life because you're cutting down trees. You're going to get people yelling and screaming that, you know, the tree huggers are going to go, oh, we can love trees, don't cut down trees. How are you going to get a bonus? I, I think that, uh, you know, that should be scrapped. Unless you're cutting out dead trees, that scenario, um, I I don't have an issue with uh, with getting the bonus. So there you are. It went from what uh, eighty or whatever it was percent to one hundred and ten percent expected yield just because I put fertilizer on it. Now we got cheese or we got milk again, plenty of milk. So now we've, we're getting a lot of milk because we're getting a lot of. Um, that's the beauty that this particular thing stores the pallets as well, so I didn't even realize that it does that. 
and I don't have to see them there and they don't have to be there as they're in here in storage so food wise for my sheep Food, or it's getting a bit low, so we're gonna have to feed them. But we've got where are we? uh, plenty of cotton, not so much wool, plenty of cotton. Maybe I need to start really pushing cotton on my fields really pushing cottons on my fields because otherwise we're gonna be now my production is gonna stop to a nothing real quick so I think we're gonna very quickly stop uh, stop worrying about anything else and just push the we're gonna become a sheep farmer real quick uh, but the beauty of the whole thing is that we now have the money. What are you doing? Okay, I should have cancelled that, but I didn't. We now, this is where I've cut all those trees, but I'm going to cut all the way through there. So this is going to be a field that, as you can see, oh, I've kind of cut trees way out here. Oh, well, since I did that, we're going to buy it. Okay, we're going to be very rich land-wise. See, I'm going to eventually come into here. The reason that I did that is because I do want to put a field down here, depending on what it is like. And, and obviously, we're going to go all around here and put a field all around there, maybe come into here as well and put one massive field. But look at all the trees that I've got to either cut delete or get rid of so there you are so you got two four six eight ten ten blocks of land oh it says buy fin farming sim i didn't even notice that to be honest it's the first time that i've seen that okay so since we are on this field over here and that's what started all this since we've sort of cut trees into here that's why i bought it so um Man, we got trees on this map do we ever this is a this is a map of paradise if you love your trees i also want to come down here as well so well, look at that like trees galore but anyway i'll find something to do and uh, we'll we'll get it every, we'll get everything organized
so plain to see You have been good to me I have been given so much I can't even begin to thank you
It is not made of cotton. I planted cotton on it. So that way we can keep our production uh, going as good as it needs to go because we are going to need um, a lot and I mean a lot of uh, cotton for what I'm going to uh, do as far as as far as uh, our clothing production is concerned now I had time oh I'm gonna smash my hands I had time in 0 0.05 while I was doing all that because I really did not want to uh, go outside of month of uh, what are we April April yes so I need to go and pick up some timber that I've not picked up from that uh, area that we've cut so I'm just gonna get this ready and get in there before I do that, I'm just gonna get it this guy over here. I think before I worry about the timber, actually, I'm gonna just put him around here. I think we'll worry about the timber in our next episode since we're uh, almost there, but not quite there. Okay. So I'm gonna leave. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't know what's happening. Every time I get out of these trucks, I seem to have an issue with, um, let's, I need to remember to keep clearing the, the course place. Yeah, every time I get out of the trucks, I seem to have an issue with frame rates massively dropping. Okay, there is one thing that I wanted to do. Just on a trial basis. Do I want to do it now or, or not really? You can't... You can't um, unhitch this mower. Um, yeah, I'll leave you for now. I don't know, maybe... I, I was going to see if I can get a baler with selectable capacity. And just put the capacity at 30,000. How much is my baler worth? Let me have a look. Wow, only 25,000. Oh, but this is a merger. Yeah, I don't need a merger. See, I was going to go for... Where are they? Oh, quite a lot here. Selectable capacity, these kind of things. Uh, but I wanted something with a square. With the square. Not with the square. Square baler. With the square. What a silly thing to say. Okay, do I have a square one that is a bit cheaper? No, I don't. I have the selectable capacity. No. Uh, uh, whatever. Okay, I want to list it. 175 horsepower. Do I have a tractor? Oh yeah, my Messi Ferguson can do it. All right. Oh, come on. There you are. We got... What did I do with the weight? I remember leaving it somewhere right there we'll go and get this baler I, i'm curious to see what happens but uh, you know what i think my curiosity was just cut short when i realized that i have a wind road and i am not in the mood to do that so we'll just we'll just leave it leave you there for now Oh, you don't climb on the tractor. And that's the problem, is that I don't have the a windrow, and I don't feel like doing it right now. Maybe, uh, maybe when I, uh, maybe when I get myself in a, oh, what's going on here? That's interesting.
Okay, so I should, this is two times the grass, so it should give me truckloads of grass. What do you mean? Didn't I already clear? Yes, I did. I need to get rid of all of those. Uh, create job, e open. Yeah, why not? Uh, we'll go with seven, eight. See what happens. Beautiful. Hey, we got a bell drops straight up, which we can't have that, obviously, because I am going to need this space. Wow, it's already putting up. Oh, hang on, I can't climb the baler. Wow, lag. I wonder what I'm getting lagged for. So this is what happens. And now I'm going to get a massive amount of lag with all these bells popping out like that. So I'm going to need really quickly to get myself into a position to get uh, to get the bells picked up. Where's my other truck? Don't need you. Don't need you. That's the one I need. Actually, you know what? Actually, no. I wonder why every single time I get out of the trucks, I seem to have this issue where the, there's a humongous amount of lag. We'll never clue why. I don't know what's happening, but let me tell you, it is happening. Okay, let's go. So that's the beauty with now with uh, farming simulator uh, FS22 is that the fact that this does not, though I can mow the grass 10 times on top of each other and it does not seem to affect it as far as uh, you know losing some of the grass is concerned. And there we are. So you can see that we're getting bales galore out of all of this, which uh, I need to get them so they don't create an issue for me while I'm trying to also record and and <laughs> um, you know have a thousand bells laying around I'm not going to get a thousand bells obviously but now I am going to need to get more sheep I think wow look at all these bales I wish I could remember. I think last time we got just over a trailer of these. Actually, I don't even think we filled up an entire trailer, if I remember correctly. I think that was exactly what I said, that I thought I would get more uh, bales than what I actually got. So that's the beauty. How much? So we got 25 bales already. Now, what I want to do is I want to get the selectable baler and um, stop putting uh, 30,000 30, liters per bale. And that way, that's how much my sheep pens hold. You know what? It's something that I wanted to do all along. And I've always kind of just forgotten. And that is to... F oh, what am I doing? Flatten that little bit over there. Because it seems to cause problems for me. Maybe I need to make it a bit smaller to concentrate it more on just the area there. Okay, I think it's much better. It's not perfect, but it is much better. Anyway, I think this episode is long enough now. Have a wonderful day wherever you are around the world. God bless you and your family. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.